I think the one comes to my mind, particularly some of the team I'm looking at the, uh, Washington, in the particular Congress, is our collaboration, how we started our private sector initiative. SNV has been around for more than 40 years, uh, focusing on poverty alleviation and good governance, and we have been working in 35 countries across the world, in both at the community level, at the meso level, and also at the government level. One thing we realized that we really need to work with the private sector a lot more proactively than what we have done before. But we also realize that to do so, we need to form a partnership with an organization with a lot more private sector mindset and credibility that uh, we may not be having at that point in time. So we uh, approached an organization based in Geneva. Uh, they are known as the World Business Council for Sustainable Development. And together, we launched something called Inclusive Business. The idea behind that was how do you engage the low-income citizen in the value chain of the company? But please keep in mind, when I say that, it's not just engage them as a consumer, but engage them as a supplier, engage them as a producer. And it's also important to note that it was not idea was not corporate social responsibility, but should be part of the core business. So it's about profit for the business, but more jobs and higher income for the, for the low income citizen. This happened four years ago. And since then now we have almost 90 inclusive business initiatives across the world. Uh, mostly started in Latin America, but now we are in Africa, also in Asia, and again, the projects are in agriculture, in renewable energy, and other, other sectors. I think my main expectation, uh, Matt, building bridges. I think far too long, we have been very siloed. So it's, I think there's no magic bullet. The private sector must work with the government, the civil society has a role to play. So I think my expectation is that these different approaches, communities, and models must work together. So my biggest expectation is how we can build bridges between the various initiatives at the end of the day to make a win-win situation for everybody. I was sitting next to a dinner with a higher, uh, uh, one of the executives of World Bank uh, last night. I hosted a dinner for President Kafur, And the conversation kept coming up, not just what I just said, but also accountability. So I think both the citizens, the government, are all looking for results. So I think we as a CID, as an entity, can be a lot more proactive in helping the organization to focus on results and accountability. And I think that will also help the industry as a whole. I think we all need a place, not just for knowledge sharing, but also to what we just talked about, having achieve a common goal. I think SEED an excellent organization to bring us together and, and, and achieve some of the goals that are very vital for, in, particularly in, in today's situation. Sustainability is the core of what we do, and our sustainability lies at the localization. So one of our main model is how do you build the capacity of the local population. So not that what we do from Washington or, or Europe or wherever it is. The local population must be empowered and that's a sustainability. And of course bring the business in here, bring impact investing so there's a profit margin, there's a return and it's a triple bottom line return where everybody wins. I think that's a sustainable future.